So here we've got our basic manual pull vacuum and extension pole. And we're going to go over the different ways to vacuum up this pool. So here we have our sand filter that we'll be vacuuming with. Um, if you want to keep uh, the filter on the filter position. And I highly recommend if you're getting that silt that collects on the bottom of your pool, especially in vinyl liners, day after day after you vacuum, uh, you might need to uh, actually vacuum it to waste and send that small particulate straight through your backwash line and out of the pool. Make sure you check your filter pressure before you start vacuuming. Uh, you want to make sure that it's not over 10 pounds from where the starting point is when it's clean. If it is, you'll have to backwash or spray out your cartridge filter before you start. So when you have an in-ground pool, normally you're going to have a skimmer line and a drain line coming up from the pool. Um, on the front of the pump, it's going to say skimmer or main drain, or you're going to have to figure out which one's which. Uh, sometimes uh, they just have one and they have a T-split underneath the ground. So um, if they do have separate lines, then I highly recommend using um, your three-way valve that's in front of your pump. Or sometimes they'll just have the ball valve with single handles on each side and you can just turn off one. So when we vacuum the pool, we want full suction from our pump on the skimmer side. So we're going to close off the drain side of the suction. We can come out to our pool and uh, our inch and a half vacuum hose is going to go right into the skimmer here. So as you can see, this one has uh, the one hole in the back and a hole in the front is plugged up. So most of your skimmers are going to have two holes in them and normally one's plugged up. If it's not, it just leads back to the pool and it's kind of an equalizer. So if the water ever gets down below the skimmer plate here, the pressure of the water will keep water in the skimmer so your pump doesn't suck dry. So with that, our inch and a half hose end here is going to slip right into there. So in here I have a basic um, pool vac. I like the clear one so I can actually see the you know stuff being sucked off the bottom and make sure I still have good suction two plugs that go in and it just snaps into place. So without the end, our next step is we want to get all the air out of this line. So basically if we were just to go plug the end of this into that skimmer, basically it's going to suck all that air into the pump. We're going to lose our prime. So there's a couple different ways to do this. The first one is to drop our vacuum into the pool. So Put that in the water. We can bring our hose over. And basically if we take this hose and just run it up to that outlet right there or that return jet, what that's gonna do is it's gonna force water through our hose and theoretically push all the air out of the line. So basically, if we were to put this down like so, As you can see, it's pushing all the air out right now. You can see the bubbles coming out of the end of the vacuum. And once all the air is out of the line, as you can see, it's starting to sink. One more bubbles coming out of the uh, end of the vacuum. So we know this line's full. And then with that, I usually just cup the end of this and we can walk it directly over to the skimmer. And just lock it in place. And if you watch the hose as you go in, you can see plenty of suction on that. Of getting the air out of this vacuum hose would be to push the telescopic pole with the vacuum down into the deep end or into the pool. 
and basically being next to my skimmer we can just run this hose down into the water and as it goes under the water it's going to force the air out of the line I just feed it down like so and you can see it pushes the air out so with that pushed out we'll just run it through the skimmer here and we can so now that we have all the air out of our vacuum line and we have our pole um, we can start vacuuming our pool and I genuinely just pick a spark spot the start and run it nice and easy across the pool So after we're done vacuuming our pool, we can pull our extension handle down. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna pull this hose out of the skimmer first. We don't wanna pull the vacuum out of the pool cause it's gonna suck air down that line and suck it right into our pump. So we'll release that and we'll go ahead and place this back in here. All right, now that the pool is vacuumed, um, I do, I like to scrub all the steps, um, any ladders that are in the pool. And then I also, after vacuuming, sometimes I'll go down the walls you want to basically scrub the complete surface of your pool at least once a week. If there's anything growing on the walls or anything clinging to it, this is the way to break it loose. And uh, so that way your chlorine can be uh, useful. The next step is we're gonna check this pump uh, basket. So basically there's another basket in here. So anything you suck up through that manual pull back is gonna come through this basket first. So any leaves, pine needles, bugs, anything should get trapped in this basket before it goes into the filter. So that's first step. So basically we're gonna come over, make sure our heater's off and cooled off. And then we can turn our system off. So with the system off, um, to get to that pump basket. Another thing is, is we don't want to lose our prime. So if we do have one of these three-way valves, we're going to put this off position facing directly towards the pump. And now basically both the skimmer and main drain lines are off. So none of this water is going to go back and we won't lose our prime. So taking off our pump lid, pull our basket out. And looks like we sucked up a hair tie, and a few other things. So we'll dump this out. And once that's cleaned, we'll put it back in, making sure that the hole in the front of this um, hair basket or pump basket is facing the suction inlet. So basically everything can flow in here. If for some reason you put this in here without that hole being in the front, basically when you vacuum, everything that gets pulled in is gonna start collecting in this line and you're gonna have a clog. So make sure that's on there. And we can just shut our pump and basically we'll uh, open up our valve. So basically the skimmer and the main drain are both open. I'm gonna make a fire back up. And she should prime right up if you close both these valves, if there's ball valves. If not, you may have to put a bucket of water in here and work on priming your pump. And as always, anytime we open up that pump lid, 
We gotta bleed the filter out. So our next step, if we were up a bunch of stuff, um, would be to backwash. Um, so in order to do that, we would shut the pump back off, turn our multi-port valve to backwash, and if we have to, run our backwash line outside and uh, basically backwash till our sight glass is clear or the water coming out of our backwash line is clear. So if you do have an above ground pool and it doesn't have the skimmer on the outside of it, uh, most likely you only have one suction line on the inside wall of the pool that goes to your pump. Um, your pool manufacturer should have sent with the pool package um, a hose and some type of vacuum that came with it, which basically would just plug right into that. Um, there are other adapters on the market to use with like the system I used that will go on those, but most likely if the pool didn't come with a vacuum, um, the pump's probably not sufficiently big enough to actually vacuum stuff up off the pool. So my recommendation on that would be to buy an aftermarket style vacuum that has the leaf bag on the top, which basically can have a garden hose attachment hook up to it. And when you turn the water on, it thrushes pressure upward and it'll actually pick the grass and leaves up off of your above ground pool floor. Um, it's kind of your only option there. So with the less expensive above ground pools, you have a lot less options for vacuuming out your pool. So thanks for joining me with Pool Elementary on Basic Vacuum 101. Um, hopefully it helped you. If it did, hit that like button and we'll see you next time.